Ford to ship and sell Explorer SUVs with missing chips. What? I'm excited for this. What? If they do that for the Bronco, I mean, I'm in. The vehicles will come without rear heating and air conditioning. And then what? You can get a, you'll get a, a, um, an email <laughs> later on that'll say, come get your chip. Yes, within a year. Ford is saying. You know what? That's a damn good idea. That's not bad. That is the right move. I mean, if you don't need rear heating or air conditioning. No, no, but you do, yeah. you do need it. But imagine they were to say to people, here's your option. I don't know how badly you need your, your new car. Uh -huh. You want to wait, you wait. Yeah. Right? It can sit with us. But if in the meantime you want to drive it without those two features, that option's available to, for you too. Options. And I think what most people will take them up on it because they can start using the thing and and they know that eventually they'll get their thing fixed, uh, get the remaining components working. Yeah. So, uh, okay, Ford spokesperson uh, told The Verge that heating and air conditioning will still be controllable from the front seats and that customers who choose to purchase a vehicle without the rear controls will receive a price reduction. Uh, Ford is doing it this way to bring new explorers to customers faster, and the change is only temporarily. Uh, the automaker originally had plans to ship partially built undrivable vehicles to dealers last year, but now the unshipped vehicles will be both drivable and sellable, as pointed out by Automotive News. Ford's decision comes as an attempt to move the partially built vehicles, crowding its factory lots. Last month, Hundreds of new Ford Broncos were spotted sitting idly in the snow-covered lots near Ford's Michigan assembly plant, all of which await chip-related installations. Now, this is going to vary from vehicle to vehicle and what, which chips are missing and which functions sure. are disabled as a consequence of that. Uh, now, maybe it's a type of thing where you can get it added at a later date, or maybe it's a type of thing where you can get a discount. Uh, because obviously this is costing them money at the moment mm -hmm. to store these things, to have all these vehicles sitting around, uh, lacking something minimal, and taking up space and, 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 and uh, depreciating. Mm -hmm. It's really what's going on, although... The scarcity factor means almost nothing is depreciating. But anyway, mm. um, so anyway, if you couldn't, if you, this doesn't apply to Bronco. They're talking about Explorers. But yes, if you unfortunately. Could, if you could get your Bronco, but the rear heating wasn't working, but the front heating was working, would you take it? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Okay, let me ask you something else. Okay. Would you prefer that it gets fixed at a later date? Or would you take a discount and it just stays that way forever? No, it has to be fixed at a later date. What it can't the, be driving in beta. What, it's if like the missing discount, a, what if the discount is substantial? Unless there's like aftermarket stuff, I can just uh No, what if it install. will absolutely never be fixed, but the discount is substantial? What is rear heating worth to you? Mm. It would depend on the substantial... Discount. That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's the question. What is the amount? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, you do know, Will. If it was ten thousand dollars, for sure you would do it. Sure. There's definitely a number. Sure. I think you would probably give up. Maybe five k. Oh, I would definitely give up rear heating for five k. Yeah. yeah. I thought it would be less than that. I thought uh, you might give up rear heating for like fifteen hundred. No. You want no. that rear heating? And uh, what else was there? Air conditioning controls. It's just rear heating. Oh, shout, shout out, by the way, to Umedijan, who's uh, actually looking for Mo on the Super Chat. He just passed he by. He just passed by. I don't know. We might see him. We might not. He claims that he's very busy today. Uh, hopefully, he graces us with his presence at some point yeah. here. Uh, hold on. There's an update Update here. to clarify. The affected vehicles are Ford Explorers, and they'll be missing rear HVAC controls. Also updated to include some additional context. So this is important, Will. Rear HVAC controls, not rear HVAC. So you're still going to be heating and cooling the rear, but you're not going to be able to adjust it from sitting back there. Mm. Which is not a big deal. Not really a big deal. I'll take that five grand. I'll keep it. You'll easily take the five. Yeah. You might take less. Plus, you're going to get your vehicle sooner. Don't forget. Sure. 